name is Adam Fitzpatrick. I'm originally from Penticton, British Columbia, and I live in Calgary, Alberta. An Elvis tribute artist gets mistaken a lot for Elvis impersonators. An Elvis tribute artist pays tribute to Elvis through his singing, through his dancing, through mannerisms, through the way he acts with his fans. An impersonator to me is, is the guy standing on the street in, in Vegas charging people money for pictures and things like that. I was a spectator at an Elvis festival in Penticton. Uh, one of my friend's dads was an Elvis tribute artist at the time and his son at the time said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this next year and I said, there is absolutely no way. So I said, I give you my word, I will do this if you do it. That's how I got into it and uh, ended up winning the amateur category that year. Carstairs was, uh, we just got a call, I think. I think one of them saw me, I think, around Didsbury in a show that I might have done around there. So they got a hold of us, and I hadn't done a show there yet, so it's always nice going somewhere new. I knew it was going to be a smaller legion, a uh, smaller venue or whatever, but uh, those are a lot of fun too. It's just an intimate, uh, intimate concert, so uh, I think there was about 75 or 80 people there or whatever um, that was sold out. And no, it was a lot of fun. We had a great crowd. Um, Obviously, I love having Farron at the shows. She can't always make all of them uh, because of the kids, but uh, we have a lot of fun on, on stage and off stage when, when we're at a show together, so uh, it was always fun having her there too. And um, yeah, it was all, all around. It was a really fun show. Welcome to the show. <laughs> So is this about, like, is this about? When she comes to shows, uh, she's a huge help. She runs my music, runs the soundboard. Because I always give her a hard time during shows. I'll add songs in, I'll skip songs, I'll forget to put a song in and blame her for it on stage. Um, <laughs> so, and uh, also with CD sales and stuff like that, obviously that would be really hard for me to do on my own. I was sitting there and I was watching the performances and I saw up above, Adam was sitting pretty high up actually, and I just saw his hair like done as Elvis. I was like, I wonder who that is? And my mom, she was like watching me because I wasn't watching this show. I was basically watching Adam and she's just like, oh, what are you doing? Like we bought these tickets for us to watch the show and you're watching some hair up on the balcony. So um, during intermission, she's like, well, I, I dare you. I dare you just to go talk to this guy and figure out who he is. And um, you don't dare me to, like, to do anything, because I'll do it. So we go up the escalator, and there he was, right there. <laughs> Gotta remember the song. I, well, I introduced myself to Adam and that, and got his business card, and I guess the rest is history. We're just checking over Adam's song list here just to make sure that he has an even amount of ballads and upbeat songs just to get the crowd going and just to make sure everybody kind of gets a variety of music tonight. And to make sure I'm remembering my lyrics. <laughs> and to make sure he remembers his lyrics, yeah. You'll notice in my shows I like to make uh, at least one mistake a show. Usually. Well, it wouldn't be authentic because Elvis made mistakes all the time. That's right. So That's he's really just paying just pay tribute, true, right? True so. tribute. For shows, I make sure, well, try to make sure we have everything for this show. Um, I set up, I uh, interact with the fans mostly. We have um, a Facebook page, Elvis Evolution. Uh, Adam Fitzpatrick has Elvis Evolution, actually, as a Facebook page, so follow that. <laughs> and that's what I do. And it's funny, it's uh, kind of a weird experience to go shopping with your husband for makeup. <laughs> Especially when we're about the same color for concealer and uh, bronzer. For not like big, big shows, if Adam's not competing, then it's not too hard to put on makeup. It's usually just to cover up. And you really don't need a lot of makeup to make this man handsome. <laughs> My stuff was a little unorganized downstairs and I was trying to organize it so I put the soundboard back in its box instead of the bag. Uh, loaded everything up, got out there, started setting up, didn't see the box and realized that the soundboard was here in my house in Calgary and we were in Carstairs and our show was in less than two hours. And luckily my brother-in-law 
was able to drive over here, grab it, meet my mother-in-law. Don't really have much to do until the soundboard gets here. got there five minutes before the show was supposed to start uh, so it all worked out but uh, yeah a little crazy a little stressful not gonna lie so it's uh, definitely checklist time <laughs> you think I would have learned that after almost 10 years of doing this to have a checklist and yeah no I haven't done it yet so uh, that's the first first time I forgot a soundboard and though that's that's definitely for sure <laughs> so when there's some hiccup in the show you just roll with it um, it actually becomes part of the show. It actually becomes something funny with the show and people remember these things and how we handled it. I don't like being in control of things. So if I don't play his music properly or if I don't have it loud enough or if I don't start it at the right time or I don't stop it at the right time, I could really screw up his performance. <laughs> and then sometimes he likes to throw in extra songs that I have to look through and try to find the right track for it. And it's, it's fun. Good evening, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to the Carstairs Legion, the branch number 53. And tonight we're hosting for you Elvis Evolution. And I'd like you all to join me in welcoming Adam Fitzpatrick. It's way too loud to start waving at my wife, and she'll turn it up a bit. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the show tonight. Uh, I should just by a show of hands, who has seen my show here before? About five, four of you, okay. <laughs> five, five. That's good. I'll, I'll count them over here then. We got, yeah, we got a few over here. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy the show. Anyway, my first song we're going to do is called Rubber Necking. involves a lot of travel with a family, with, with young children. Um, I don't want to be traveling around too much. It, it can be very lucrative, um, but at the same time there's, there's a lot of sacrifice that you'd have to put into doing that. So um, I do have a full-time job. We're trying to get more shows around here, around Alberta. Um, still do shows in BC and, and things like that, but uh, just a little bit more picky-choosy of where, where we're going and um, how long we're gone for and stuff like that. Um. It's extremely fun to be around my husband and it's um, the best thing about it is to see him change from my husband as Adam, um, not as Elvis, and then when he steps up on stage he's the tribute artist and it's, it's just really surreal to see that different change and how fun it is and it's great to share the memories and the experience and it's great to meet so many different fans that love and appreciate Elvis the same way we do. Just before we go on here, um, I want to introduce my beautiful wife over on this side of the stage. Uh, she puts up with a lot. I change songs, I miss songs, I miss up lyrics, I tell her to start over, I tell her to find a song. Uh, but she loves me. <laughs> Thank God for that. Um, so uh, this is fair in everybody. Everybody give her a big round of applause. She'll be signing autographs after the show. I don't like being in the spotlight. So having your significant other in the spotlight, it makes you have to adapt quite quickly. So 
by doing his music, by being in front of a bunch of people I don't know, I basically have to, you know, break out of some of, uh, some of my insecurities and boundaries. So I love that. Um, obviously, moral support um, is nice too, and it's always nice seeing her there. Um, love, love having Farron at the shows, and it's nice having her there, definitely. You ain't nothing but the hell, dog. Cry all the time.